So the Kentucky State Fair for many is about tradition and that of course includes the annual country ham breakfast, which is going on today. Let's get you out to Gabby and Destiny right now live at the fairgrounds ahead of this year's 58th annual country ham breakfast. Uh, and Gabby, it's always interesting to not only see the ham, but to see how much people are willing to pay for it. I mean, the best part about this is really getting a good close up look at the ham and Ronnie, I know you guys have been so excited and I know you guys are very proud of what you guys have accomplished here today. Uh, yes, we are. Okay, so uh, tell me a bit about uh, this particular ham. How'd you guys, you know, cure it and make sure that it was ready to go to be a, a ribbon winner? Well, of course, we, we cure several hams. So when, you know, we put it in a mixture of salt, sugar, and sodium nitrate, uh, this ham was cured. Uh, sometime around uh, March okay. of this year when it was putting it down in uh, February, March, and so it was uh, in the younger class this year. Okay, and uh, what uh, a number in regards to winning would this particular hand be for you all? This is uh, our 14th win. Wow, okay. So uh, I guess how much do you think this one's going to go for this year? What did last year do, and what do you think this year will do? Uh, of course, last year it went for $4.8 million. You ne you know, when you get to these auctions, you, ne you never know. You know, it just, just depends who who's here to bid. Okay, and I know the auctioneers, they're going to be the ones that really ramp up that price. So anything, uh, a figure in mind you might have? I know, I, you know, at this auction, nothing surprises you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ronnie, thank you so much. Again, congratulations. You all definitely make sure if you are coming out to the annual Country Ham Breakfast, make sure you're coming out early so you can get your breakfast as well as getting a good seat so you can get ready for that auction. Just one expensive ham. Gabby, thank you so very much, but it certainly goes to a good cause. This ham breakfast, though, does not come without controversy, and this morning will not be an exception. The Kentucky Fairness Campaign, along with the ACLU and several other groups, will protest the event. What you're seeing there, uh, that's the executive director of the Fairness Campaign uh, being arrested in 2009. Uh, they say Kentucky Farm Bureau's policies are discriminatory. This will be the 13th year groups have protested the annual breakfast. Protesters were arrested in 2015, and as you see there, 2019, Chris Hartman is his name. Uh, we did reach out to the Kentucky Farm Bureau for comment yesterday morning. They have not yet gotten back to us.